Welcome back to Contrastly, my name's Simon Plant and today we're going to look at dropping the focus within Lightroom. Well, welcome back. Um, so I don't know about you but I like to take portraits and I like to get in nice and close with my lenses and I like to shoot as wide open as possible just to get that real nice drop focus. The only trouble is sometimes you can be a little, even if you've got great autofocus, you can be sometimes a little bit off, you know, you focus on the eye and you, know, you maybe just move slightly backwards or forwards um, and you're out of focus and obviously you lose, uh, you know, can lose quite a few images that way. So to combat that sometimes I like to stop down a little bit more which obviously has the undesired effect of having uh, more of the object in focus. Um, or even if you shoot in wide open, sometimes it's not quite as gone as soft as you want. Well, in Lightroom, I'm going to show you how we can combat that and add a little bit of soft focus in the areas that we'd like. So to create the soft areas of focus that we want, we need to go in with, obviously, um, adjustments uh, but selective adjustments not global adjustments so that we can selectively drop the focus and we need to do that in a nice uh, subtle way that's got nice transitions the way I'm going to do this is to grab the graduated filter up here and uh, I'm going to make sure this show selected master overlays on and I want to this already going quite soft here I want to uh, pass in make that go a little bit softer I want to soften the top of the hair here and maybe just soften uh, up to the chin as well it's just so that we just got this eye and eyebrow in focus so we'll start off adding a gra gradient filter on this side and Obviously, with the show selected from mask overlay switched on, we can see where that's affecting. And this is going to be a multiple, uh, we're going to make multiple uh, adjustments to this. So I don't mind it going over the face a little bit. So we can maybe pull it as far as that. And the important thing here is we're going to drop down also the sharpness. Let's just turn the overlay off. We're going to drop down the sharpness and also the clarity. And the clarity is going to make, make the biggest impact on this. But you've got to be careful, we don't want to overdo it. So for this first pass, we're going to drop the clarity right down, okay? I'm then going to grab the gradient and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go duplicate. But this time I want to want to change it a little bit. So maybe I bring it across like so and just bring it on the face area. Okay, so we've got our base gra gradient on the bottom here and we're adding another one on top but it's, it's a smaller with less of a transition and again we've got clarity already cranked down and sharpness I'm going to bring turning my mask overlay off I'm going to bring the clarity up a little bit because sometimes it can go a little bit too soft okay so let's have a quick look at that here's before here's after and that's adding quite a nice effect okay um, then we're going to come in and go to new and I'm going to add a new gradient this time from the top here maybe at that angle I want to come down let's turn back on the mask overlay come down just to about where it's the um, gradient is stopping which is about here let's come back up a little bit I'll turn the overlay off and again bring down the clarity all the way down Bearing in mind, obviously, this gradient is cutting into our previous gradient on this side, so you've got to watch it's not uh, overdone. And also drop the sharpness down, okay? I'm going to do the same again. Click on Duplicate. Click on the Mask Overlay. And again, I just want to make this gradient a bit smaller. And I'm just going to bring it down around there. Somewhere like that. It's not an exact science. Clarity, I'm going to bring the clarity up a little bit because I think it's going to be too much on the actual hair if I leave it too far, set too far up. Everything else can stay. So again, there's before. You can see quite a big difference there on the hair before and after. Okay. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is just to drop the focus on the bottom of the image here up towards her chin. Um a bit more once again sharpness right down clarity right down like so and then gonna duplicate this again and then make this one a little bit smaller I'm gonna turn the overlay back on so we can just see a bit better what I'm doing and I think this one 
I'll bring up right by a chin there. Um, I'll leave the clarity as it is for now. Let's just have a quick look at what we've got before I start fiddling with it. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. You might notice that the, the image has actually lightened a little bit. I th believe that's because the clarity has been um, obviously turned right down. So you may well need to go in and darken the image a little bit afterwards. Um, actually, I think that's fine on the chin. Um, now, finally, what, what we could do, now we've got kind of the base of it done, we can perhaps come in now uh, with a brush and apply uh, an adjustment brush to the image um, and again doing the same thing dropping the sharpness and the clarity down but we've perhaps got a little bit more control where we uh, where we go with this so let's do that let's go to new and we've got the brush tool I'm going to drop down a clarity I'll bring it all the way down for now and the sharpness okay and we'll turn on the mask overlay and we can just come in here and make the brush a little bit smaller and just bring it in and see if we can get this edge a little bit softer here yeah. like so uh, something like that might be quite nice let's see what that does turn the mask off and again let's see what the difference that's made before after You'll notice the eyes are popping as well. I, I did a little bit just on the eyes early before I started the video. So uh, that's made a little bit of a difference. Um, sometimes turning the, the dehaze down a little bit can also give you a little bit of diffusion. But you got to be careful because it does lighten the image up a hell of a lot. I don't think in this instance it's going to do us any favours. So let's leave that as it is. So let's try now, we want a bit more, duplicate that, maybe a couple of times, and see that, that's better, that's better, right, okay, so this last one, I'll drag it down a little bit, I'm just going to turn the clarity back up on it, we've got, we've got too far, but I think that's looking pretty good. And also on this one, so we've got three. We duplicate that three times. So I've just adjusted the other two a little bit, so it's not quite as hard as harsh there. So you, if you want more of an effect, you're not getting it. It's just the same as in going in and duplicating a layer in Photoshop. Just duplicate the the brush or the yet yeah, or the gradient. Okay, so I thought we'd just have to do a little bit of before and after. So this is where we've come to, and this is where we've started from. Now bear in mind, I've obviously done a little bit of uh, colour adjustments on this as well. Sorry, this is where we started from. But I've um, added some colour adjustments and also brightened those eyes a little bit before the video started. Uh, and this is where we ended up. And also try to keep an eye on the, uh, on the hair here and the cheek and the jawline and see where we've softened that like so so it's very subtle um but it's it's better that way you don't want to go from uh, a softness straight into something very very sharp so we've got a nice transition there it's not too obvious it's been done in post so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope to catch you on the next one cheers for watching